Hello Scorpio and a very warm welcome to your April 2019 horoscope. So all this month your co-ruler Mars is going to be in your eighth house. Mars has everything to do with your energy, your passion, your drive, your ability to accomplish things. So in your eighth house this would be a wonderful time for sorting out taxes, anything to do with government issues and money, banks, mortgages, pension, anything to do with your future security. It's also a good time for putting energy into maybe a business partnership or a collaboration of some kind. It's also a good time for putting energy into the esoteric, the metaphysical, maybe studying some astrology if you like it, tarot, channeling, psychic, psychology, anything that takes you to those deeper levels that you Scorpios love. We've got a lot of activity this month in the fifth and sixth houses. We start out on the fifth of the month with a new moon in your sixth house, joining the sun there. Let's cover the first half of the month when we've got three planets here together in your fifth house of romance, of love. And Venus in the house of romance could certainly bring you a romantic relationship. It's also a wonderful time for starting a new business, promoting a business idea, doing something enjoyable culturally, maybe going to the theatre, to a movie, to a concert remembering with Venus there to have fun, to enjoy. These are wonderfully creative aspects for you this month, Scorpios. So it's a really great month to do anything with your creativity, things that you enjoy, that you love. Take them to a new level, explore them again. Pick up something that you used to love and try it out again, see how it feels. You might really enjoy it. It's about remembering the child within, the playfulness, the part of you that smiles, that enjoys. Often, Scorpios, you're very intense and focused upon what it is you're doing. Take some breaks, have some fun, look around you. That's what this energy wants you to do. And that's how you bring romance and magic into your life, no matter what age you are. So the new moon in the sixth house on the fifth is wonderful for new beginnings for a new job, new work situation, a breath of fresh air coming into an existing situation, a wonderful time for creating something new with your health, your well-being. And then on the 18th of the month, Mercury coming into this sixth. And on the 21st, Venus also joining the party. So this is a wonderful time for really researching, looking at the things that your body needs, maybe starting a new health regime, a new diet, adding something, taking something off, trying things out, trying to find a balance. And also looking at your exercise. Are you moving your body? Are you sitting a little too much? Are you remembering to be fluid, to be flexible? The more flexible you are, the easier it is to move, to go with a flow of energy. So that's very much what this is asking. It's also a good time to volunteer, to help with a cause maybe, or people that you really feel passionate about. This too is good to do that with all those planets in the sixth house this month. Also on the 21st, we've got the Sun coming into your relationship house, dear Scorps, uh, joining uh, Uranus there. This is shining a light on relationships, an opportunity to renew an existing relationship, to start a new relationship, maybe unexpectedly. It could be a romantic relationship, could be a friendship, could be a business connection. It's just a time to shine a light on relationships generally and to see in what ways that you can uplift and feel uplifted in your relationships. We've got Jupiter for much of this year in your second house of money. This is opportunities to expand your finances, 
to maybe uh, create ideas that are money spinners. Jupiter there too, you might be spending just as quickly as it's coming in, but Jupiter is the planet of good fortune, so if you focus upon being grateful for what you do have, deeply grateful, you may find that the, abund the abundance that you're looking for naturally follows you. So it's an exciting month ahead for you, dear Scorpios. I thank you for liking, for subscribing, commenting and sharing. I read all the comments, so please do share what you're feeling. Thank you for listening. Have a wonderful month. Bye for now.